on this guitar a little bit over the last week. Uh, my hearing is not great. It's, in fact, pretty bad. I can't hear uh, all that good anymore. And uh, the uh, the neck uh, rod. I adjusted the neck rod. I was getting seemed like I was getting a lot of string buzz, and. Uh, so I adjusted uh, the rod in the neck here, you know, to give me a little more relief in the middle part of the neck, and uh, readjusted the bridge when I got done with that, and then let everything settle for a day or two, let all the wood readjust itself, and. Uh, you know, I think that took about all the buzz out of the string, except I've got one little low place right here on the third string. to come down just a maybe a thousandth or a half of a thousand because I hear a little bit of fret buzz in the first position on the bass strings. to be a, a marked improvement over what it was previously and uh, so if any of y'all are struggling with you know string buzz or fret buzz and you know wondering why you can't get your strings down low and still get a good sound then you know you might ought to try your uh, truss rod and the best way I found to do that is if you if you note it, you know, at the first fret, and then if you note it at the twelfth fret with your thumb, and you come here about to the sixth fret, which is about in the middle, you should have a little bit of clearance there. So your neck should have just a little bit of little bow there. And if you don't have enough, then, you know, you can loosen this maybe an eighth of a turn. Check it again. If it moves, then you might ought to wait a day or two and let all these, this wood reset itself. Because you'd be surprised after you move this just a little bit. It takes a couple of days for the wood to reorient itself. You know, and at the time you move it, it may not sound like much, but in a day or two later, it may sound a lot better. It's uh, something how that works, you know, with the wood and the tension. And uh, so anyway, that seemed to help me out a lot with this old box. I was playing around this weekend with an old tune that it's uh, called uh, what is the name of that tune? <laughs> I can't remember now. It's less Paul and Mary Ford had a big hit on it in the 50s. Of course, it's an old, old tune. Uh, it's called Alabama Bound. play a 
couple of courses in F sharp and then we'll transition to C and play a couple there. I think C is about where everybody else plays it. But I've really gotten uh, used to playing it in F sharp because you have a real big tension release uh, when you go from F sharp to E. And I'm always looking for that in my playing. Is you want to, you know, release and then build, release, build. You know, and that sets up some uh, dynamics. You know, in your sound and in your, in your playing. You know, from one phrase or one half of the course to the next half. And I'm always looking for a, a way to do that, or a different way to do that in every song that I that I arrange. And uh, this is kind of a weird chord to play in, but it does have a really good, like I say, a good tension release there, uh, going to E.